Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay and this is an odd one. What is the Star Fox doing on my channel when I've never played a Star Fox game before? Well, the reason why I haven't played a Star Fox game before is because they generally do not resonate well with me. <laughs> it's long stories for each game, but this one is different from what I've seen. Like, for some reason lately, I was looking into more Star Fox games to see if there are any other ones that were cut from a different cloth than the rest, and this one in particular, I should actually probably skip the intro because it's kind of long, Star Fox Assault definitely seems to be cut from a different cloth. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a try. I'll get the game, see how it is, and I'm actually surprisingly liking it. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here is play Mission 3. Why Mission 3 and not the first missions? Well, it's because it's it's like the starting point where things get different from other Star Fox games. That you get kind of a... Uh, well, you'll see what I mean as I'm getting into it. And I'm playing the bronze level because I'm kind of still new to this. I'm not very good at it. Plus, it's kind of weird to control. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's the game, but you'll see that as well as I'm fumbling with stuff. So the story is that Aperoids invaded the galaxy trying to take it over. And we, one of the Aperoids we defeated had this data thingy. And we were going to collect that data thingy, but Pigma snatched it away from us, and it's important, so we got to go track Pigma. We tracked him over to this illegal base, and here we are. We have made it and infiltrated the base. Hello, everyone. This I am Fox. Fox. I've made it inside. Yes, we have. <laughs> How are things on your end, Slippy? All right. And uh, this game okay. has got some Let's repeated dialogue started. similar to Shadow the Hedgehog, like Eggman's... Oh, you know what they say, the more the merrier. You know what they say, the more the merrier, as you'll hear with Slippy probably soon enough. But anyway, hit the R trigger to slap around a couple bullets here, but if you snap it in all the way, you'll be able to charge your shot a la Metroid and unleash it for extra power. And uh oh, he's going at it. No mercy is what he's going to repeat like 80 times. Oh no! Oh no, it has begun. <laughs> and anyway, um, the objective is to destroy all of those transfer devices. And yeah, that's that's the thing that we're going for. Yep. We gotta destroy five of those transfer devices. And we already destroyed... Wait, actually, no, we didn't destroy. We destroyed something else over there. But anyway, <laughs> what we're looking for also is to collect all sorts of different weapons to power ourselves up and make things a little bit easier. You can get them from enemy drops, hanging out on the ground like that. I think there's a shield out over here as well if you destroy this critter. Yeah, if you press the B button, you can make an invulnerable shield for a little while, which is handy for running through stuff like these barrels, like so. Very nice. Oh, you know, you can just shoot the barrels out from as you go up there or shoot them from a distance, you know, shoot the generators from a distance. I don't know the names of a lot of these things, so I'm just going to call them things as I go. And you'll see this target over here. If you didn't destroy the transfer device there, it'll just keep spawning critters. And you can see the transfer devices like that through the walls and stuff like that, but the, the thing about it is you can't tell exactly where they are, so you've got to look around. And you've also heard from the very beginning of this, from Peppy, that the up gauge at the upper left corner of the screen is important to pay attention to. If that fills up to the max, we automatically lose the mission because we lose the air side of things. So, if things start getting out of control on the air side, you've got to jump back down to your ship. You can always see where your ship is based on that little wireframe. See that at the bottom left corner of the screen? And you just go down to it. Uh, but yeah. So, you, it's it's like a, a strategy thing of dealing with multiple things at once. I should never stand in place in a shooter. <laughs> That's lesson one of a shooter. Never, ever stop moving. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah, we gotta watch. We gotta do our land objective, but also keep control of the air object. I mean, keep control of the air front as well. At least for now. Got it? Good. So let's go ahead and focus on the land until that starts getting out of control and stuff like that, so 
Let's go up to this target and give it a blasting. Ooh. Oh shoot. Oh, poopers. This is... No, okay. <laughs> a lot of critters there. Oh, and as I was saying about different items here... Yeah, I got a machine gun that I picked up earlier there. If you go pick up the sniper rifle, you can go into first person and shoot stuff out that way. You also got some grenades you can hurl at stuff from a distance. Sensor bombs will blast if there's like something that comes in range. Like say if I were to plop one over next to this critter as it's coming towards me. Well, I'm just kind. Of okay, that that'll work too. <laughs> Basically, on yeah, med kits heal health and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, everything except your regular blaster has limited ammo, so be on the watch for that. And as a result of that, you're probably going to want to be using your blaster for most things because you want to be conserving stuff for when you actually need it, basically. And that's also a part of the strategy of things around here. So anyway, the air front seems pretty decent at this moment in time, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wander around the perimeter here, looking for stuff to destroy, just for the sake of destroying stuff. Oops, I did not mean to. <laughs> and also, by the way, when you're setting up the controls of this, definitely do a dual analog for this. Um, original controls are very weird. Like, rather than controlling the camera and yourself separately, with... Uh, the dual analog sticks, it would be controlled all with the left analog stick, which I guess knocks down the complexity of things, but it does not really give you what you need. Let me just put it that way, if you try it yourself, you'll see, in terms of like full control. But anyway, I gotta go back over to that elevator that was hanging out over here. Yeah, this is an elevator. Step on this, and you go up. Oh, actually, no, the air front is... Uh, Airfront is getting a little bit filled up here, so I probably should get on over to that. It's actually possible to get through this whole land thingy here without having to deal Got with it. the airfront at all until we actually finish that. Here. But, Last you know, I'm kind of just showing stuff slowly for the sake of the, uh, you know, random gameplay and whatnot. And these big ships over here, big time, big time gauge increasers here, so you probably want to destroy them, and also keep in mind that, well, this will work too, I suppose, but keep in mind that uh, little stuff helps too as well, but we want to look for those big ships if at all possible. Yeah, I'm just going to go around, take a look, see, see what's up around these parts, and see what I can destroy to reduce that gauge, and then once I'm finished, I'll be able to go back inside to finish the land mission, and that's a big part of what kind of uh, got my eye about this game, as opposed to other Star Fox games, is that it's got this unique aspect of maintaining two different fronts as at once. And by the way, um, you shoot with the A button here, rather than the, uh, um, the R button like you did with your regular blaster Enemy indoors. Just keep that in mind, and I should also get myself stuck on here, because it works just fine that way too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it works just fine, because I think you take crash damage, but no! No, it works just as well. Anyway, the air front is... Oop, come on, no. If you press down, you'll automatically flip around like that. If you press up on the C... I, oh, excuse me. Up on the C stick will make you do a backflip like this. Down will turn you around like this. Got it? Good. Okay, so anyway, the air front is... Uh, Looking pretty good now, so I could probably hit... Did I see someone fire at me? Did I see someone fire at me? <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't think so. I think that was actually Falco. Uh, so now that the air front is back under control, I can get back to focusing on the land area. So I'll just head on back in over here. I'll automatically dock. And whatever you want to... Or, I should say, whenever you need to, you can press your modified Z button. Yeah, I had to reference that tutorial because I'm pretty proud of how that turned out. And head on back over to the air front, or, well, go. Well, actually, it is just, yeah, just going back into the air front because you automatically just poop out of your R wing when you end up back over here. But the, you can also land um, at, at certain other places as long as it's wide open enough. Uh, in in other missions, but that's I'm, I'm not getting that far into the game here. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. 
So yeah, we're just gonna talk like, you know, it's it's Z button for that one specific instance of entering your ship, and you automatically exit your ship when you enter those docks area at like Thor's Field Delios. And anyway, I found the elevator again. By the way, the uh, Y button also jumps, so I forgot to mention that. So, uh, elevator! Elevator! Actually, maybe I should have just waited at the bottom for the elevator rather than climb back up, because it goes all the way down, if I recall correctly. Yeah, yeah, once you activate the elevator, it's it's good to go again. But anyway, this time I'm just going to rush all the way up through the remainder of this and wipe out the remainder of the targets where I know where they are before the air front gets out of control, because as soon as I do that, the uh, air front is going to be... I should switch to my machine gun here, because there's a lot of critters coming up here. But yeah, there is a... Uh, once you clear out all the targets up here, we'll be peachy clean and... Uh, I'm gonna go censure bomb for plopping stuff back here if you don't mind. I'm okay, Falco. I'm on bronze. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of blast stuff as I go there. Oh yeah, I need to have something a little bit a little bit stronger here. Okay, there we go. It's okay, it's okay. It's, you'll be you'll be respawned next time I play this anyway. <laughs> you can also destroy things thusly with your grenades and stuff like that but yeah as I said you're probably gonna just primarily want to use your blaster and yes I know I'm doing terribly but I'm just kind of trying to rush things to try and get through the uh, land frontier but what I'm looking for is to go through a little door off to the side here and actually what I should do is get my grenades out for this because I know what's coming ahead of time yeah it's an enemy patch I guess you could call it <laughs> And there we go, that should destroy most of them in there, and I'll switch back over to the machine gun and have a good time! Okay, maybe not. I thought I was going to get rid of that big one there, but... Okay, just destroy the target, get out of here, don't, don't deal with them. <laughs> Alright, now we're good to go back to the elevator, because all the targets are destroyed. You'll see a cutscene happen, actually, in just a second here. Oh no, it's Wolf's base! Oh no! The young laws gotta You're take care of them. Now. Watch your step, yeah, you got even got Wolf's music going on here. Leon is here, and also a new character known as Panther. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Panther, and all who see my rose meet death. I assure you that I won't die to him. <laughs> We're just here for Pigma, okay? Shut your traps and hand him over. So Pigma should be with Pigma. them, right? Don't know anything about Pigma. Maybe not. But there is one thing. Mm hmm. What's this I one thing? An apology, and I will have it. Well. I'll, I, I will apologize by blasting you into smithereens. So anyway, our mission has been updated, the air front has changed, so now we don't need we to do anything on the land anymore, we just gotta go to back to the air, and use our, our modified Z button, it's nice and soft, to tackle all of the outlaws, the well I should say, the, yeah, well I guess you could say outlaws, yeah, <laughs> I think they're the outlaw team, and yeah, anyway. We just gotta focus on all of them, any order that you please. I'll just go after Walt first, I suppose. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe I'll go after Leon if you're gonna... Wait, actually, you're behind me, aren't you? Well, someone's behind me. <laughs> maybe I'll do... Relax, Crystal. Yeah, we, got, we gotta tackle them as well. Like, if they're in trouble, gotta save them to get good rankings for 100% completion. And I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm here for you, Crystal. Ooh, and there we go. We're good to go, I think. Nice work, Fox. All right. So anyway, back over to back over to the main targets here. Leon, Panther, and Wolf. I'll just kind of pursue Leon with a charge shot here. Just shoot him pretty close in range. You can't. Or, or I could use probably shoot him. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. I thought it was like, oh. Okay, that well, I just thought it was gonna go right behind me. That's what they usually do, but I don't know. Maybe not this time. <laughs> having having some shooting difficulties, but I'm, I'll be okay. Everything will be just fine. I'm gonna do a little flip here to kind of get in better position. Maybe I'll go back over to Wolf here. <laughs> Wait, you're not Wolf, but I can't lock on to you. Okay, Wolf. Oh, oh, oh. aha! How oh, you like those apples? Probably not much. Uh, dang it. Yes, I know I can turn faster with the 
uh, L and R buttons, but I don't know, I don't, don't really feel inclined to at this moment in time, because I don't need to turn that tightly or anything like that. What do you think I am? Eh, well, you're gonna lose. I can say that. So I don't know what to call you other than Chameleon. Man, yeah, yeah, take that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> anyway, I should probably maybe focus on one at a time. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, no. I should probably do a little flipper here since he got behind me and it went in the other direction. There we go. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh, I'm messing with you. Whether you want me to mess with you or not. Because I've got to complete this mission. And where did Wolf go? Dang it. <laughs> Fine, I'll go over to Panther now. <laughs> Something, sometimes things go... A whole lot smoother. Uh, like when I replayed this one for 100%, but not this time. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. This is a random gameplay. Sometimes it's got to get back into the sling of things a little bit easier. I mean, uh, yeah, but it's, and then it makes things easier, excuse me, in the future. <laughs> Just totally misheard with that. On your wolf! Wolf, dang it! Nope, dang it, wolf! I was hoping that we'd trail behind me. Or not. Okay, you went somewhere else again. Dang it! <laughs> Can't I just knock out one of these suckers? Can't I just knock out one of... He's, like, he's got a sliver of health, you can see that. Okay, there we go! <laughs> Two more to go. I'll go for whoever I see, basically. Okay, you can nick at him from a decent distance here. Oh, he shoots where they're going and not where they are, as you know, because it takes a while for your bullets to get there. But it's, it's kind of a thing when you're trying to control everything at once, <laughs> as I said in this game. <laughs> there's, there's, there's some oddities to it, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it feels about the same as 64, but yet, I don't know, it doesn't... It doesn't lock on as... If that makes sense, as well as 64? I don't know. But anyway, I gotta help out Falco. I thought he was an ace pilot, but I guess not. <laughs> Alright, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gotta follow behind these two. There we go. We're good to go again. Try and catch up with Panther using the Y button to do a little boost. Okay, there we go. Finally. Finally. <laughs> don't even have to worry about my health now. That's enough for now, Fox. Come on, Wolf. Enough of this. Just hand over Pigma. Yeah, right. you tell him. Pigma's no longer part of Star Wars. Oh. And if he'd shown his filthy hide here, my so man would have him out. So I guess he blasted what? his entire crew yeah, for nothing. Maybe that's what he wanted us to uh, apologize for. Crystal. Whoops. 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 Here's to us. Oh. Well, I see we've got a double love interest for oh, Crystal I between remember. Fox and... <laughs> <laughs> between Just Fox and Panther. Nice. But anyway. How can I resist this beauty? <clears throat> I believe the calm record will point you toward the China. Thank you. You talk too much. Panther. I appreciate the information. And this, Fox. as it said, Star Wolf will take you down one day. Mission is complete. The voice acting is pretty good in this game too, by the way. Um, except when it repeats like Slippy. <laughs> and with that. I'm going to end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Woo! Oh, just shorts of that badge. Considering the circumstances, 